Hi, I'm Dr. Paul Chittick. I'm an infectious disease doctor at Beaumont Hospital in Royal Oak. Today we're going to be talking about antibiotic use and overuse, antibiotic resistance, and some of the more common myths relating to antibiotics for providers. Here are five common misconceptions about antibiotics. Asymptomatic bacteriuria is one of the more common reasons for antibiotic overuse. Patients frequently have this condition and even have white blood cells in their urine, particularly as they get older. Treatment isn't useful in these circumstances as it doesn't prevent infection, and some studies actually suggest that it increases risks of infection. And it certainly increases the risk of resistant urinary tract infections. Outside of pregnancy, a recent kidney transplant, or prior to a planned urologic surgery, there is no reason to treat a patient with asymptomatic bacteriuria with antibiotics. Bronchitis is not a good thing to treat with antibiotics. Respiratory tract infections are the biggest source of antibiotic misuse that we have, and bronchitis is probably the biggest culprit in all of these. The vast majority of these infections are viral in nature, and outside of pertussis, there's really no evidence that antibiotics make any difference. Antibiotics don't shorten patients' duration of symptoms, uh, and they don't prevent any secondary complications um, as a result. The best thing you can do for patients in these circumstances is provide symptomatic relief and educate them on signs and symptoms to watch for of secondary bacterial infections. Just in case would be a nice security blanket to have, but unfortunately it doesn't always work out that way. Antibiotics are often prescribed for things that mimic infections, and you can think of erythema from venous stasis or shortness of breath from heart failure. We want to feel safe in giving antibiotics, but ultimately they don't really do all that much. A number of studies have shown that um, stewardship interventions to stop antibiotics in these patients are safe and effective. It also doesn't protect you from uh, liability or medical legal problems um, just by prescribing an antibiotic, as if they have an adverse effect or an allergy to the drug, you're still at risk. Pneumonia actually has been pretty well studied, and interestingly enough, there are studies dating back to the 1940s that show that short courses of antibiotics, sometimes even as short as a single day or a single dose, are effective. The biggest problem with pneumonia is the symptoms last quite a while. So you can have fever for three or four days, you can have cough and fatigue for a couple of weeks, um, and x-ray changes for a month. But prolonging the antibiotics doesn't do any good in those circumstances. It doesn't shorten those symptoms um, at all. This is a big stewardship push um, to shorten duration of antibiotics for pneumonia. And in most um, people without other major health comorbidities, five days of therapy is adequate, assuming they're uh, no longer having fevers and are overall improved. This is a misconception that kind of dates to the initial development of antibiotics when they are only available intravenously. And a lot of this has persisted even to the present day. There are a large number of studies showing that oral antibiotics are just as effective as IV antibiotics for a variety of conditions, um, including cellulitis, urinary tract infections, and pneumonias. And even some more recent studies suggesting oral antibiotics can be used in pretty severe infections, including endocarditis uh, and osteomyelitis. As a provider, what you should be asking yourself on a repeated basis is if uh, you have a patient on IV antibiotics that can be transitioned safely to pills or not. This has the potential to shorten hospital durations uh, and market reduce costs to both the patient and the healthcare system. If you take anything away from this video, it's that we need to get smart about how we use antibiotics. We've done a pretty poor job in the last 90 years of uh, utilizing them, and it's incumbent upon us um, so that we have them around for the next 90 years to get better about using them.